All right, guys, I've got another Helmer blood mixer, blood warmer, that uh, it's got what looks like a potential for electrical fire hazard. And uh, this would be the second one that this has happened to. So as I've said before, if it happens to one, it's probably happening to more. And what I thought was just wires rubbing against each other, which still could be the problem here. Um, it's starting to look like maybe fluid or something is getting down by the heating element. I, I can't get to it because this is not exactly a service friendly device. Let's take a look and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. So here you can see I've already removed this one here. This would be my, um, my breaker switched hot. It normally connects to the top of the breaker. Here you can see the hot comes in from the IEC, comes up to my breaker and then it goes back to control panel and the heating element and stuff like that. So the interesting part is the blue wire right here is my neutral. That's European wire code. You can see that there's a little notch on the green because it's melted because of rubbing. So the question is, is why is this happening? It looks like it's load induced since it's on the neutral, right? And I, this is not discolored on this connector. So I'm starting to think it's load induced and I gotta do some more research on this, but if you look at the gauge of these wires that are powering this thing, cause this thing does have a heating element. It's got two lift motors and two agitation motors. So this is, is obviously drawing a lot of current someplace. So it's either doing it because of liquid, which you can tell there's some liquid that's getting in somehow. Can't find the leak yet, but it's in there somehow. So what I'm thinking, is this is European wire code and at 220 volts it's half the amount of amperage even though this says 15 this device normally runs at 10 if this was wired for 220 volt then it would only be pulling 5 to 6 amps which maybe would justify this wire gauge but you see what's happening it's melting and all I can tell is that it's drawing too much amps somehow I've already checked for abrasions because this case is very jagged in here so it's not a very service friendly device. The only way to get into it, I have to pull the feet and some perimeter screws on the bottom and tip it over, which is such a pain. And one of the reasons I have to get in there is because here are some linear rails right here. That's for your agitating trays. Take a look at this guy. Look how that guy flops back and forth. Now this guy here flops forward, but not back and forth. And it's just got way too much play. So here's the crazy thing. Up and under here, you can see there are some linear bearings right there. And here, let me see if I can shine a light on it. So you can see the linear bearings. That's right up there, right behind that pulley. This, this right here is a pulley which winds the cable, which lifts the trays. But take a look at that. They welded the bearing block to a stud that's a structural support. And there are some fasteners, see up under there? And normally on linear bearings, you can adjust them for a little bit of play. So I'll have to take a look into that, but the, the linear bearing blocks are welded straight into the device. And you can tell the weld is just complete garbage too. In fact, since they welded the linear bearing block in, there is some evidence of damage to the polymers of the linear bearing from melting. There is some evidence of that because they welded it in. See that? They, just, they did just a, a shoddy job. I mean, take a look at the fasteners up in the roof. See that? See how they ground right into the, the fastener? Did it there. They did it there. See how it's all rusting up inside there? Just because, you know, anytime you weld, it creates uh, a lot of debris and that debris, the heat and everything, it ruins the coating on a lot of metals that protects them from corrosion. So, Helmer, blood mixer, complete garbage, um, not serviceable. Normally I don't have too many problems, but they obviously have a known electrical issue. And now I can't even service my linear slide right there. So what do you do? I guess I'm gonna call Helmer and get a rather expensive bill, I'm sure. <sighs> All right, guys. Anyway, that's my morning. Hope your morning's going better. Thanks for watching.